and no pick two. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. Thanks. Very excited. What were you talking about? I heard that you were talking about and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only uh, the greets. Ah, greeting. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Pedro told me mm -hmm. uh, in this day <laughs> he mm -hmm. felt feel uh, a little better. Ah, okay. For the flu, for his flu. Mm -hmm. Okay. That that sounds better. So you're feeling better. Uh, you, you're feeling better, Pedro. Yes, tomorrow the Friday is necessary. The body asks for it. <laughs> I know it ah, I see. I see now what the what the what the problem is. <laughs> the body know. <laughs> yeah. The body know you that tomorrow to, is Friday. <laughs> yeah. It has to be in perfect conditions for tomorrow, right? <laughs> All right, so thank you guys for joining us. Hi, Vania. How's everything? Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm okay, thank you. How was it? How was your day? Uh, tired. Very tired. You were, yeah, you were doing a lot of things? Yes. All things in, in a little time. <laughs> ah, you were working a lot, I guess. Yes. Okay. But now we are in English classes and we can relax a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we always have fun in this class. So thank you for joining us. And hi, Anna. How's everything? Um, every, everything okay, teacher. Did you change your hairstyle? I can see a picture, a different picture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. It when was like that? I changed. I changed my look. <laughs> ah, nice, nice. That color looks nice on you. That's that's nice. Uh, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about black? Have you ever have you ever done black hair? Yes, a long time ago. Ah, I okay. use I wear a uh, warm sorry mm -hmm. uh, black hair and uh, a long. A long black hair. Ah, a long black, black hair. hair. Uh -huh. Yes, but um, since some um, two years ago, mm -hmm. I changed my look and for the other color, uh, like a light brown. Ah, okay. And uh -huh. this day I changed again uh -huh. my look. And now it is. Good look. It is like blonde, right? Yes. <laughs> ah, okay, nice. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, Pedro and I are telling you good things. So, yeah, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I have never changed my look. That's a, that's something that I should do. Because <laughs> when I... Never, have... never. <laughs> Why, teacher? I, I know I mean when I was in when I was at school I remember that I started to uh you know to come my hair like to this side, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh when I was in high school I decided to do the the ola, you know, the, the most common one, right? And yes. then <laughs> uh and then in the university I didn't know what to do. So uh by let's see when i was in the united states it was very difficult for me to to tell the person you know pasame la cuatro la tres and blah 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 in english, <laughs> in, in english they don't have only that. the saints <laughs> yeah in, in english they don't have that and it was very difficult for me to to tell the barber you know i want this hairstyle or i need it like this i need it like that and he, I mean, I was like, I thought that I was doing it in the correct way, but he was just like, okay, okay. You know, like smiling. <laughs> and, then, and then I could notice that he made like a different, uh, like a different 
a hairstyle. Mm -hmm. You know, from the sides, from the sides. Um, he did it like very short. And then from the top, he did it a little longer. So okay. I mean, I, I liked it. I mean, because I have a picture when I got my, my first haircut in the United States. Uh, and it was nice. I liked it. So I continued uh, to go to that uh, barber shop. But I went like once, let's see, once, once every three months because over there is very expensive. Because, for example, over here in El Salvador, you pay $1 or $2 depending on the place, right? Okay. But, in, but in the United States, it was like $22 or $25. It's expensive. Yeah, it is super expensive. And I'm like, okay, I cannot do this every month, okay? Because I need to save some money, you know? So <laughs> I, I liked it, you know, I liked it. And when I came to the, when I came back to El Salvador, I have tried to, to you know, to look for a barbershop that can give me the same, uh, uh, the same style. And when I get a haircut, I try to get the same style. Right now, it's my, my hair is longer, but, but probably when I get a haircut, I'm going to do it uh, shorter, okay? So if, if we see each other on the next module, you're going to see that my hair is shorter. But that's the only change that I have made, you know, in my look. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, I don't paint my hair. A little change. Uh, yeah, it's only the haircut, you know? It's only the haircut, but uh, it, it looks you, like a... Yeah. Teacher, you see similar wild duck. Uh, to whom? Well, wild duck. Duck. What is that? Uh, similar pato bravo. <laughs> oh, <really? Wild>. <laughs> <laughs> that is the hair. That is the hairstyle or what? <laughs> is that wild duck? I don't know. Is a corny <laughs> pato bravo. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know that one, really. That's the name of it. <laughs> uh, <okay>. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. And where is Josue? He's missing, right? Yesterday we were talking about him and then he appeared. So maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Josue. Yeah, Josue. He's sleeping, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's drinking a beer or he's uh, eating a hamburger. <laughs> Or maybe he's in a party because he finished the, the module and he says, no, I don't want glasses anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to appear somehow. Okay. All right. So welcome back, everybody. Ah, also Saida. We don't have Saida here. I, I don't know. All right. So welcome back. Um, they were going to finish with the uh, the last class for this module. Okay. Uh, basically, we have been practicing a lot. I think you've been learning a lot too. The good thing is that you knew some of these topics or you had an idea of these topics, okay? And we have been practicing this topic, which is like uh, the one that we have uh, paid more attention to. And as I said yesterday, we're going to see what's the difference between this and the simple past because, at, I mean, at some, at some point, at some point, it looks like, what it sounds like, they are pretty similar. However, they are not uh, that similar, okay? Later on, we are going to see the different things that we have over here. So just for you to remember, uh, yesterday, uh, we were practicing how to use never, ever, and before, okay? Remember, uh, I can have, like in the case of these three sentences, I have been to Costa Rica before, or I have visited Costa Rica before. <coughs> the negative form, I haven't been to Costa Rica before, or I haven't visited Costa Rica before, okay? And in this case, when you use never, it is like uh, similar to negative, okay? I have never been to Costa Rica, okay? Basically, it is the same thing, but just uh, in a different form. Okay, but we are using never. And this is what we're going to practice in a few minutes, okay? Because we're going to continue the game and hopefully we can finish the game today, okay? Because okay. today's the last class, so I hope we can finish the game. So it is very simple, okay? You can say, yes, I have, and then you say, I have visited, I have played, 
I have drunk, I have eaten, okay? Or I haven't done, I haven't gone, I haven't, <laughs> I don't know, any, any, any action. Or I have never, and then you say the action, okay? I have never visited, I have never been, I have never eaten, I have never drunk, okay? So that's what we were practicing on the previous class, okay? The use of never, ever, and before. Also, we were learning, um, let's see. Yeah, we have the little game here, but we're going to go back to that in a few minutes. Uh, we were learning how to use the, the present perfect in a different way. Um, we were learning how to use for and since, okay? For and since, but we're going to go back uh, to that in a few minutes, okay? So, yeah, let's focus on the game because we need to continue. We have more questions, okay? It is very simple. I mean, you can answer in a short way, in a complete sentence, and that's it, so that we can move faster, okay? Or if we, want, if we are more curious and we want to ask more questions, that's, that's also possible, okay? Let's see, Pedro, do you remember what color you have? Okay, it's a red. Red. Mm -hmm. Let me see, let me change this. Okay, there you go. Okay, red. Let's see how many spaces you are going to move. Five, okay. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh huh. Have you ever slept outside under the stars? You know, like in a camping or yeah, like in a picnic, and then you fall asleep and you and you forget that you were sleeping outside. Have you ever slept outside, Pedro? It's a romantic, but <laughs> okay. in, this time, in this time for the mosquito, it's impossible. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This one, I, I, um, no, I have, I have never mm -hmm. uh, slept outside. Okay, perfect, perfect, okay. Uh-huh, okay. Later we're going to see if we have another question to, to another person. Let's see, Anna, what color did you black. have? Okay, you were black. Let's see. Four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Have you ever read a novel or a book in English? I have read a mm -hmm. book in English, but no novel, uh, only articles, articles. Uh, articles, uh-huh. Yes, and um, subtitles of medicine. Ah, okay, uh -huh. Yes, only that. Okay, but you are able to read it, and that's, that's, and that's nice, okay? Maybe you should try uh, reading a book, you know? Even if you have read the book in Spanish, maybe you should try reading the book in English. Maybe you can find the PDF and you're going to see that you're going to learn many words, okay? okay. That's, that's one recommendation that I can give. Okay, thank you. Do, do you have a favorite book in Spanish? Mm, no, I don't have a favorite book, mm. but also I try to read in, um, different articles about that histories and medicine mm. and only that okay or or investigation about that technology ah okay but yeah that's nice that you're reading okay that is going to help you to get uh, more vocabulary it's a nice nice opportunity okay nice job okay let's see ivania uh we have three colors for you we have blue we have orange and we have gray which one do you prefer? Blue. Blue, okay. Let's see how many spaces you're going to move. Two, okay. Okay. Let's see, Ivania, have you ever traveled by train? No, I haven't. Okay, you have never traveled. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, now it is my turn then. 
um, yellow. Okay, let's see. Ooh, six points, nice. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. If you want two, three, four, five, and six. Have you ever eaten sushi? Hmm, yes I have, but I didn't like it. <laughs> First of all, I don't like fish. I don't like seafood, okay? And second, uh, it was bad for my stomach, okay? Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I did it, but I, I will never do that again because I didn't like it. I know that there is sushi made of rice and different other, I mean, we have other options, but this one in a specific was very bad for my stomach. So yeah, I, I, I don't like sushi, okay? I don't like sushi, sushi. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Pedro. Okay. One, okay, let's see. Uh-huh. Pedro, have you ever borrowed something from someone? Do you know the meaning of borrow? Uh, no, teacher. What is borrow? Prestar. Yeah, exactly. Prestar. Okay. Oh, for okay. example, when you ask, uh, for example, when you ask uh, to a bank for some money, okay, that is you are borrowing money from the bank. Okay. Yes, teacher. I have a uh, jump tie. Borrow, uh, borrow mm -hmm. in the bank. Okay, I have, yes, I have, I have a uh, borrow mm -hmm. uh, in the bank from someone. Ah, okay. And you borrowed money? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Only nice. that. Okay, yeah. We're not going to ask about how much money was it. Okay, don't worry. Let's see. <laughs> Anna, you are uh, black, right? So, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, wow, six. Excellent. You're winning. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, Anna, have you ever played the piano? Or have you ever played the piano? No, I never played the piano. Okay, I have never played the piano, perfect. And let's see, Ivania, you are green, right? So it's, let's see, Ivania. One, oh my. Uh -huh. Ivania, have you ever traveled to another country? Mm, yes, I have uh, traveled to another country before. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we know that story, right? Uh -huh. You have yes. told us. You have told us that story. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Pedro. Red. We'll continue. Maybe we can finish. Okay, we can do it. Okay, two. Okay, two. Let's see, Pedro. Oh, wow. It says one and two. Go bye back. Bye, Pedro. <laughs> Go yeah. back 10 spaces. Oh, my God. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, Pedro, have you ever worn a hat? Worn a hat. Hat. Mm -hmm. hat um... Do you know the meaning of a hat? The hat is a sombrero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, no, uh, I have never, uh, never wore a hat. Okay. Okay. Would you like to? I prefer the, the, uh, the cap. The cap. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, let's see. Anna, you are about to win. Let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're very lucky. <laughs> okay. Anna, have you ever seen a ghost? What is the meaning of ghost, teacher? For example, I don't remember. 
it is like a spirit that is following <laughs> you at night, you know. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. The mystery. Yes. Uh -huh, yes, the... I have. Really? Yes, I have. Um, in that case, sing, not sing, but I felt mm -hmm. a god in a middle of night. Mm -hmm. And I remember um, a long time ago, like uh, five or six years ago, mm -hmm. when I visited my uncle's house. Mm -hmm. And in a while, is is very dark. Mm -hmm. But when me, met with my cousin, uh, at the end of the day, I remember uh, I felt different sounds, and mm -hmm. I afraid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, would, I, would, I would have been afraid too. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what, did you, uh -huh. what did you say, Did you watch it on uh, the ghost in, in, in this uh, house or only listen? No, only, only listen, uh, only listen different sounds, like uh, different uh, sounds of animal in that case around that us any animals <laughs> so there were yeah, not there yeah, weren't uh -huh. ah there were uh, there were not any animals there wow no <laughs> yeah i would have been like okay bye i'll see you next time i'm not going to stay here <laughs> <laughs> in that moment yes <laughs> yeah i run, I run for a uh, uh outside of the house the house the mm -hmm. uncle house yes mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. i and i went to bed and you went to bed so fast <laughs> but were you able to sleep <laughs> oh. could you sleep no uh i in in that night mm -hmm. it was impossible to sleep for me uh -huh. Because when I remember that different sounds of animals, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, try to <laughs> turn on the light. Oh wow! Yes. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, that that happens to me when I watch scary movies. I can't sleep, and I need to sleep with my lights on. So yeah. <laughs> It's like, no, I am not sleeping uh, alone and in the dark because I am afraid, okay? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's, that's scary. I don't like those stories, especially at night, so don't tell me more, okay? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Letivania, you're next. One again? Oh, my God, you are so lucky. <laughs> okay, Ivania, let's see. Have you ever worn a hat, Ivania? No, I have never worn a hat. Okay, but would you like to wear a hat? No, uh, not really. I prefer the cap. You prefer the caps too? Okay. Yes. All right, perfect. Thank you. My turn. Let's see, I need a six. No, I need more. Yeah, I need a six <laughs> to be almost in the last one. Let's see. Okay, five. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Yes, I have. Actually, I have climbed. Let me see. Like three mountains, I think. So when I was in high school, my science teacher was a little crazy, you know. And he said, you know what, guys, we're going to go out of, of the high school today and um, we're going to explore Santa Ana. That's what he said, right? So we were like, yes, we're not having classes, right? Nice, nice, nice. So we went to a mountain and I don't know where the mountain was, but it was horrible because the, 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 the land was like wet and muddy because the day before it rained 
and uh, it was like horrible. I mean, everybody was uh, dirty. The uniform was ruined, you know, and it was horrible. I didn't like that one. The second time, um, the second time, let me see. It was in the university, but we were not, uh, we were not in classes. My classmates and I decided to go to a, a to a to a park, and over there there was a mountain. I mean, it's it's like a, um, it is like a tour, let's say, but you go by yourself. I mean, you don't need a tour guide because you can walk, you know, around the place. And it was really nice because the weather was nice. But the time that I will always remember and that I hate is when I went to El Pital. Oh, okay. Yeah. That time <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was horrible because you know, uh there is a part in which the buses stop and then you need to take a car to go to El Pital. So uh, we went with other teachers. We were there uh with with other teachers in the in the in the in the trip. So uh, the other teacher said, yeah, I, I, I have talked to other people and they say that the walk is like 30 minutes, right? And I'm like, okay, 30 minutes. I think I can do that, okay? So at the end, we were walking and walking and walking and I thought that I was going to die. And then another teacher was pushing me so that I can climb the mountain. And at the end, it was two hours and a half. It was not 30 minutes. It was two hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> so it was like super horrible for me. I, I hated, I hated that. It is like, nope, I am not coming to El Pital one more time walking. I am going to pay someone for a pickup, you know, so that I can go to El Pital. Otherwise, I will not go. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was the worst experience. And I believe the other people because they said, you know, it's like 30 minutes walking. And I'm like, okay, I think my body can resist that. But two hours, no, it was horrible. That was like the worst. <laughs> I didn't like that trip. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh Pedro, one more time. You came back a long time ago. Let's okay. See. Ooh, three, okay. One, two, and three. Let's see, Pedro, have you ever been to another continent? Uh, uh, no, uh, I have, I have never uh, been to another continent. Okay, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay, and now it is your turn, okay? You can win this, you can win this. Or you can get a one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, six. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. You are today's <laughs> winner, okay? The previous time you were the winner too, right? No. Ah, uh, you were not the winner? No. For the third winners? Ah, you were the third player. I remember place. maybe Josue. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe Josue was a winner, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, let's see who's the second place. Let's see, Ivania, it is your turn. <laughs> Come on, Ivania. I'm going to give you another <laughs> chance, okay? Because you're getting only one and one and one. Okay, five, that's better, okay? Let's see. One, two... Three, four, five. Okay, Ivania, have you ever missed an English lesson? Uh, have you ever missed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> I have uh, missed, missed a les an English lesson. Okay. Before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday, um, update uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I think you were busy, right? I mean, it was not like you said, like, I'm going to sleep. I'm not going to go to English. Right? Uh, no, uh, I worked. Uh, ah, you worked. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, in that case, no problem, okay? Don't tell me, teacher, I was sleeping. 
<laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. And my turn, the last time. I hope I can get a 10. <laughs> okay, two, exactly. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to finish here, okay? Um, we didn't have Josue, so maybe he's drinking something nice right now. <laughs> okay, we don't know, okay? All right, so uh, also yesterday we were practicing uh, the present perfect, but using other expressions, okay? We were practicing how to use for and since, and we were using this with the question, how long, okay? How long? For example, how long have you been married? How long have you had your car? How long have you uh, studied English, okay? And we have two options for answering. We can use for and since. How can I use since? Can you explain to me? How can I use since? Mm -hmm. Example or explain that? Yeah, explain how to use since. Uh -huh. Okay, I try to to explain. <laughs> yeah, tell us. Tell I us. use uh -huh. since when that um, even of realize uh, start that during that. Like, uh, for example, I study since Monday, uh, mm -hmm. 19, 1998, mm -hmm. and finish that uh, 1999, maybe like, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, those are good examples because we're going to use scenes for uh, a specific times, okay? Time. For uh -huh. Video of time. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. It is in a specific period of time. For example, Monday. For example, we are in Thursday. So on Thursday. So we can go back to Monday. So that's since Monday. Also, we can say a day. Okay. So since November or sorry, a month. Since November, since January, since September, since May. Okay. So that is a specific month. Uh, also, I can say a year, okay? For example, since 1993, since 1999. So that is on a specific day. What about for? How can I use for? Is a period of time during that, uh, when I start and at the moment finish, mm. uh, for mm -hmm. a period of time, uh, when you during or realize different things? Okay, yeah. We use for uh, a specific uh, for the time, right? Like in the example that we have, we have been married for 20 years, okay? I don't say the exactly when I, get mar when I got married, okay? Uh, I don't say, for example, I didn't say I got married on 19... Uh, on or 2000 for example 2000 right we are in 2020 or 2020 uh i can say i i got married when i was in 2000 okay in el 2000. so in that case it's a specific okay since 2000 but if i want to say the period of time you know the all the all the time i need to say four so we're going to see some examples here for example, I have lived in Metapan since 1993. I have learned English since January 4. I have cooked since 1999. I have taken medicine since Monday. That was Pedro, right? Uh, also, Josue told us I have worked in Comerica Bank since 2019. And I have spoken English, oh, sorry, I have spoken Spanish since I was born, okay? If you see, these are a specific dates, a specific dates, and a specific years, okay? And in this case, we have four, which is the, the number or the time, okay? I have lived in Metapan for 27 years. I have learned English for 45 days. I have cooked for 21 years. I have taken medicine for two days. I have worked in Promedica Bank for 11 months. And I have spoken in Spanish forever, okay, forever. So 
And then we have some questions. How long have you studied English? How long have you been married? How long have you worked in your job? I have other questions. How long? How long have you had your cell phone? Okay. Oops. How long have you had your cell phone? For example, my cell phone. I have had my cell phone since uh, since March 2019. Okay. Since March 2019. What about you? How long have you had your cell phone? Remember, you can answer using since or for. Okay. Let's see, Anna, how long have you had your cell phone? I have had my cell phone for six months. Mm -hmm. Six months, okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, Ivania, how long have you had your cell phone? Uh, I have had my cell phone for two months. For two months, okay, perfect, uh -huh. for two months. Thank you. Let's see, Pedro, how long have you had your cell phone? I have my cell phone um, one month. Oh, for one month. So it is a new cell phone. Uh, yes. <laughs> ah, nice, nice. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, another one. Uh, do you have a car, people? No, I don't yes, have. I have. Okay. What about you, Pedro? Yes, I have a car. Okay, how long have you had your car? And in the case of Anna, how long have you had? Um, I will think about it. I will tell you, okay? Let's see. Uh, Pedro, how long have you had your car? I have my car three years. For three years? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. What about you, Ivania? How long have you had your car? I have had my car two years. For two years, uh-huh. Yes. For, for two years, uh-huh. And Anna, how long have you had your uh, refrigerator? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I have have mm -hmm. my refrigerator uh, for 11 years. Oh, wow, for 11 years, excellent, yes. okay, excellent. And the last one. How long have you lived in your house? The one that you have lived, the one that you are living right now. For example, in my case, I have lived in my house for or since, since 1999, yeah, since 1999. Uh -huh. What about you guys? Let's see, Pedro, how long have you lived in your house? I have uh, lived in my house for all, for all my life or, or for? Forever. Years. Uh -huh. Or forever. Uh -huh. Forever, okay, perfect. Uh -huh. What about you, Anna? How long have you lived in your house? Anna, we cannot listen to you. Okay, what about Ivania? How long have you lived? Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh -huh. Ivania, how long have you lived in your house? Uh, I have lived in my house uh, for all life. Forever. Uh -huh. Forever. Uh -huh. Forever. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. And what about Anna? How long have you lived in your house? In this house, it's uh -huh. a new house. Uh -huh. I, I have lived in my house for 11 months. Ah, okay, for 11 months, nice. Yes, Okay. recently changed that house. <laughs> ah, nice. So you, yes. you don't have a car, but you have a house. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> All right, perfect, okay. Now we're going to see what is the difference now between the present perfect and the simple past. For this, we're going to practice a short conversation, okay? So let's listen. I'm sorry, I'm late. 
Have you been here long? No, only a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Uh, I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I have had it several times. Oh, how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate a lot. Oh, I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years, okay? Let's see, uh, Anna, you are going to be Mandy, okay? Okay. And Ivania, you're going to be Peter. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, mm -hmm. only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Uh, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Moroccan food? No, no I haven't. It is uh, good. It's delicious. I have had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, excellent, okay. excellent, excellent. Nice, thank you. Uh, Pedro, you're going to be Peter. <laughs> the same. Yeah, the same. <laughs> uh -huh. And I'm going to be Mandy, okay? Okay. Uh, I am sorry, I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Uh, I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I have had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate a lot of there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? Uh, I lived there for two years, okay? For two okay. years. So if you see in this conversation, we are jumping from the present perfect to the simple past, okay? And we are going to see what is the difference between the two of them uh, by looking at some examples, okay? So let's look at the first example. Let's see, Anna, can you read the first sentence? I have known Julie for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I still know her. Okay, perfect. So this is in the present perfect, okay? I have known Julie for 10 years, okay? So since she was a little, okay, and now she is an a, 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 a older person, I have known Julie, okay? And I still know her, okay? I still know her. What about the simple past? I'm going to see, uh, we're going to see this in a different way. Let's see, Pedro, can you read the simple past, please? Okay. I had knew Julie for 10 years, but then, the, but then she moved away and we lost touch. Okay, perfect. So here you can see the two differences, okay? In one side, you have known Julie for 10 years, okay? And you still talk to her. However, in the simple past, if you're going to use only the simple past, that means that you knew Julie before, but not anymore because you don't talk to her, okay? Or you lost touch, you don't have the cell phone number, you don't have the Facebook account, okay? So basically that relationship stayed in the past, okay? So if you see, we have, uh, we have two different, different things here, okay? Yes. Now, for example, in the, uh -huh. simple, in the present perfect simple uh -huh. is uh, indefinite tie in the past. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. It is not, uh, it is not uh, that is specific. Uh -huh. Yes. In mm -hmm. the simple past is an in, in a specific event in the past. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. And that means that, they, that, that the event finished. Okay. The event finished. And in the present perfect? 
Continue you, the uh -huh, event. Uh -huh, the event continues. Uh -huh, perfect. Uh -huh. The event continues. Okay. We're going to see another example. Okay. Let's see. Ivania, can you read uh, my brother? Yes, my brother has been to Mexico three times. Uh, he is still on leave, so he can go back, you know, in, in any time. Mm -hmm. Any time, perfect, okay. Uh -huh. So my brother has been to Mexico three times. You know, like in the past, he went three <laughs> times, right? And he can continue doing it in the future, we don't know, okay? He is still alive, so he can go back. I don't know, next month, next vacation, okay, on December, I don't know, okay? But he has been to Mexico three times already, okay? So that can happen again. What about the other case? Let's see. Um, uh, Pedro, can you read my great-grandmother? Okay, my great-grandmother went to, me to Mexico three times, but she is dead. Mm -hmm. Perfect, but she is dead, okay? In this case, I am talking about what the person did when the person was alive, okay? Like, for example, my brother has been to Mexico three times and, can, and he can continue going. But in the case of my great-grandmother, I'm talking about her history, okay? She went to Mexico three times, okay? But she cannot do it anymore because, I mean, she is not with us, okay? So that is another difference between the present perfect and the simple past, okay? Remember, if you use the simple past, that means that the, that the action finished, okay? And it will not continue in the future, okay? So that is like a, a, a very essential uh, point to remember. Let's see another example. Um, Anna. Mm -hmm. I have lost my kid. Mm -hmm. uh, the result is that I can't get into my house now mm -hmm. okay so you're like oh my god i have lost my keys okay but maybe you're going to find them okay so you can continue looking for the keys in your backpack in the pores you know but right now you have lost the keys okay you don't know where they are okay like where are they okay however on the other side we have the simple past ivania can you read this please Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I lost my case yesterday. It was terrible. Now there is no resource. I got a new case yesterday. Okay, perfect. Okay. So I have lost my keys, but maybe probably in the future I am going to find them. Now, if I am telling my experience to a person of something that happened in the past, you know I lost my keys yesterday. It was terrible. Okay. It was terrible. Okay. It was terrible. Now you cannot change this because I mean you lost them in the past. You cannot you, you can't you can travel to the past and change the situation, you know? It's like okay, it finished. What that was a terrible, uh, it was a terrible idea. Okay. So that is another difference, okay? If you see, uh, the meaning is a little bit different. And finally, uh, Pedro, one more time. I've seen John this week. Mm -hmm. okay. Finish the time. Okay, I have seen John this week. Okay, so right now it is what? Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Maybe you're going to see him again. Uh, on Saturday, probably you're going to see him again. You don't know. Okay, so I have seen John this week. Okay, mm -hmm. what about something that is finished? Okay. I saw John last week, okay? So I cannot change that, okay? I cannot change that because that is, that, that is the past, okay? That is the past. So do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. No teacher, in my mm -hmm. case, no. 
So I think it is very clear, right? Like when something is not finished yet, you can use the present perfect. Now, if the action is finished, in that case, yes, you can use the simple past. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think you have one exercise like this in the platform. Okay. So you need to be careful, uh, especially with the verbs, because in one case you use the verbs in the simple past, and in the other case you use the verbs in the past parsing. Okay. So you need to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, that was it. That was everything for me. Okay. Um, first of all, before we say goodbye, <laughs> uh, I want to remind you that uh, the platform is going to be available until Sunday. Okay. It will be available until Sunday so that you can uh, finish the exercises. If you have a problem with one exercise, you can send me a message and I can help you with that, okay? Also, uh, please remind, remember that you need to uh, send the documents to Inglés Corporativo, okay? Otherwise, uh, you are not going to be able to start the classes because they told us that the next classes are going to start on March the 2nd, okay? Okay. March the 2nd. Okay, so basically uh, next week we are going to have free, okay? We're going to have one week to present the documents, but if you can do it uh, Monday or Tuesday, it will be better, okay? Because remember that sometimes it is a little bit difficult to, to, to start with this process, okay? So try to do it uh, fast. And also if you passed the module on the platform, you're not going to have problems, okay? Remember that you need okay. to cover at least a 80%, okay? An 80%. Mm -hmm. So, again, okay, if you have questions or something, don't forget to send me a message on WhatsApp, okay? okay. And I okay, appreciate teacher. so much all the time that you had uh, to be in this class. I hope you have learned uh, many things, okay? You are such a nice group because you speak in English all the time and that's nice, okay, that's perfect. And I think you should continue doing the same, okay? So thank you so much, you guys. Have a nice uh, night, have a nice week, have a nice weekend, and maybe we're going to see each other next module, okay? Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Bye -bye. Thanks so much, teacher. Yes, it's a thank pleasure. Thank you so much and I nice to meet you. And nice to meet you too. Have a nice weekend. Yeah, okay. you too. Have a nice weekend. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night.